Hello, I hope you're having a good day. This video is a short review of the IPVO mirror cam that turns the webcam on your laptop into a document camera. The mirror cam is probably the smallest visualizer document camera option available. It's designed to go on a laptop, so it converts the laptop webcam into a visualizer so that you can show whatever is below that to whoever you want to on a screen. So it comes in this package. In fact, you get six of these in a pack and you've got the actual mirror cam itself attached on to the package here. And then you've got some nice instructions that tell you exactly how to set it up. And not only does this board have instructions, but if you turn it over, it also doubles as a whiteboard, which is ideal for using on the keyboard of the laptop. So whether it's a teacher using this or a pupils using this, this is a great option for just a very cheap way of converting a webcam into a document camera. So when you take the mirror cam off the packaging for the first time, it's gonna be flat like this. It's gonna have a little bit of glue on the back you want to remove, and it's also got some tape and a protective cover over the mirror, which you need to take off, otherwise the image you get will be really grainy. So just peel that back, and then you've got your mirror cam ready to fold up. So to fold it up, you've got a small tab here at the top, which when you fold that over, will fit nicely into the slot that you should be able to see in here, so that it will stay together in the shape it wanted to. So it sort of fits over the top of a laptop screen. Now, this gap here is what you need to fit over the top of the screen, and the specs say that this will fit any laptop screen that is six millimeters or less. Now, I've tried it with a few laptops, including some Windows laptops and an old MacBook Pro from 2011, and it fitted all of those fine. So if you've got a fairly modern laptop with a screen that's sort of normal sized, it will fit no problem. So what you do is you fit it over the laptop screen, and then you fold these side parts here so that it will sit nicely. These will fit against the screen, as you can see here. You then need to make sure that you adjust the angle of the laptop screen so that ideally it's about 90 degrees from the keyboard so that you can see a nice clear picture underneath. You do need to make sure the wings aren't too close in, otherwise they'll start appearing on the edges of the picture, but you can adjust them as you go. If you're finding this video useful, please do hit the like button. It helps people find these videos. Load up the visualizer software for my Pivo. I'm using the Chrome version here, but you could use the Windows version or whatever version you want. The first thing you want to do is to go to the rotate option and click mirror horizontal. Then you'll flip your image around so you can now see that the keys on the keyboard are the correct way around and anything we put under the visualizer is gonna work. Next thing you wanna do is go back into the camera option at the top and make sure that you've set the keystone value. So you can see that the keystone value allows us to adjust the image to get it nice and square so that anything we put underneath is gonna be in the right dimensions and not squashed or expanded. So when you've got all of those things correct in the right place, then you're gonna get a fairly good image. Now the image quality is gonna depend on the quality of your laptop webcam. So the laptop I've got here is a fairly cheap um, laptop. The webcam's not great, but you can see the image is okay. It's better if you put something like a, a whiteboard underneath rather than a worksheet but that still works okay as well. It doesn't come with a whiteboard pen, so you do need to provide one of those yourself. And the other thing to be aware of is that when I got mine, because the six were packed together in a pack, you do get some dents, or I got some dents at least, in my whiteboards, I think on all the whiteboards, because of the way they were packed up against the mirror cams. It's not a major problem, it still works, but something to be aware of there. The mirror cam itself is 114 millimeters by 110 millimeters and it only weighs 8.5 grams. It's really light, really portable. It feels like it's quite robust. It's made of strong plastic, feels like it would take a bit of a beating and should last quite a long time in normal use. The whiteboard is 30 centimeters by 14 centimeters and it fits nicely over a laptop keyboard. The good thing about it is that when you do write on the whiteboard, it doesn't press any keys of the keyboard because it's spreading that weight across the whole thing. So I found I could write on top of the keyboard with the whiteboard and not affect anything on the computer underneath. When you finished using the mirror cam for your session, it folds away nicely. So you can fold in the wings on either side and then fold down the back stand and clip it together 
And as long as you get it in the right place, it will clip together nicely and will stay put for you. So I think this is a great option if you want something really cheap and a way of making sure you can use your webcam as a visualizer. So it could be used by a teacher, maybe if they don't have a visualizer of uh, another sort, it could be used remotely if you're teaching and you just have that webcam available to you. It could also be used by pupils. So whether it's in the classroom, maybe with some Chromebooks or more possibly as remote learning. So if you're working with a pupil remotely, you're tutoring them or you're working with a class remotely, if somehow you can get these mirror cams to the pupils, then they could have these on their laptops and they could show you what they've been working on. It comes with a whiteboard, so they just need a pen and they're all set. Now these come, as I said, in a pack of six and they're priced nice and cheap. So just a few dollars or just a few pounds and you could get pupils to have these ready for remote learning. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos about technology that's useful for teachers.